The next story is one of my very favorite fables. It's about a very tasty piece of cheese, a very smart fox, and a not very smart crow. And it's read by my very favorite daddy. The Fox and the Crow by Aesop. One day, a fox took a walk in the woods. <laughs> Fox saw a crow in a tree. The crow had a tiny but very tasty smelling piece of cheese in her beak. Mmm, that is one tiny but tasty smelling piece of cheese. The fox wanted that piece of cheese. She had to think of a way to get the crow to drop it. The fox looked up at the crow and said, "Look at that beautiful bird. Oh, is she gorgeous or what?" The crow puffed herself up with pride as the fox continued. <gasps> You, if that bird could sing, she would be the queen of all birds. That's right, the queen of all birds. If she could sing, that is. The crow wanted to be known as the queen of all birds. And so she opened her beak and let out a. Unfortunately, she also let out the tiny piece of cheese.、Uh -oh. The poor crow watched the tiny piece of cheese drop, 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 and drop. It did not stop until it popped in the fox's mouth with a tiny kerplop. The fox swallowed and said. That was deliciously cheesy and surprisingly easy. And she ran off into the woods with a skip and a hop. The crow realized that she had learned a very, 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 very big lesson. If you want to hang on to your cheese, don't sing. Oh no! Beware of flatterers. Well, you know, people who say nice things about you as a trick, just to get something from you. Oh yeah, that too. The end.